H.H. Dow High School for a coverage of girls basketball in the Saginaw Valley as the Dow High Chargers play host to the Midland High Chemex in a pivotal game in the Saginaw Valley League North. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper and Tom tonight we've got the Chemex and the Chargers and we've got first place in the Saginaw Valley North implications on the line as these two teams prepare to meet for the second time this season. Well, we've known for most of the season that there are three teams that have a lot of talent in the, the Saginaw Valley North. And right now, if Midland should win tonight, it would create a three-team tie. Still a few games to play, but this is really looking like either it's a chance for Midland to tie or for Dow to win it outright. Yeah, the Dow High Chargers in the driver's seat. If the Chargers win here tonight, they've got first place all by themselves in the Saginaw Valley North. But if the Midland High Chemics win tonight, then as you mentioned, it is a three-way tie and a jumbled mess between the Chemics, the Chargers, and Saginaw Heritage. Tonight, the Chemics and the Chargers, the last time these two teams met, the Dow High Chargers came away with a victory. Dow High looked very impressive when they played a couple of weeks ago. And Dow High moved the ball exceptionally well, and Midland High struggled with their outside shooting. So we'll see how this develops. The Dow High Chargers coming into this game 13 and 2 overall. They are 11 and 1 in the Saginaw Valley under first year varsity coach Kyle Tyson. The Midland High Chemics come into this game 13 and 3. They are 9 and 2 in the Saginaw Valley under veteran coach Elaine Mahabier. All right now it is time for our national anthem and then Jason Jahowski will have our starting lineup. Here on MPS TV. 
A great MCTV crew headed up by Matt Richardson bringing you the game here tonight. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, our stat man Jeff Yoder. The Midland High Kimmicks in, our, in their visiting blue uniforms. The Dow High Chargers wearing the home whites for this contest. The Midland High Kimmicks, Sadie D. Wilt, Alex Van Sumeren, Skyler Howard, Jaden Williams, and Maddie Berry as the five starters. The Dow High Chargers, Ellie Taylor, Emily Lyman, Asia Blanton, Kylie Wasco, and Jenna Query as the starting five. Midland High winning the tip off, and we are off and running with Saginaw Valley basketball. Quick first shot of the game taken by D. Wilt. Doesn't fall through, and D. Wilt able to get her own rebound. Jump shot by D. Wilt. That one off target. Battle for the rebound pulled down by the Chemics. Maddie Berry pulls down a strong board for Midland High. Berry's got the ball on the near side, works it back over to DeWilt. DeWilt, a couple of dribbles being guarded closely by Taylor. Now works over to Jaden Williams. Williams fires up a jump shot, count it. Almost 50 seconds <laughs> off of the clock, a great first possession for the Midland High Chemics, Jaden Williams getting the bucket. Well, Dow got, or Midland got a couple of shots and just kept the ball alive down at their end of the basket, their end of the court, and uh, Williams uh, nails a, a, a two-pointer from about 15 feet out. Dow High tried to go inside to Query, but she was double teamed. Now they go inside to Blanton. Blanton unable to get the shot. Heavy pressure put on by Williams by Midland High, and the Chemics will come back the other direction. Midland High leading early in this game. Three-pointer by Van Sumeren. The shot is off the mark. Rebound by Ellie Taylor. Taylor will bring the ball down court for Dow. Taylor, that guard position. Three-pointer, top of the key. Count it. Ellie Taylor able to hit the three-pointer all by herself. She created some distance. Taylor giving Dow High the one-point lead in the first couple of minutes of this girls' contest. And Taylor leads Dow uh, with 12.6 points per game. Jaden Williams missing a long two-pointer. Taylor able to get the rebound again for the Chargers. Thought about doing another three-point <laughs> attempt. Instead works it over to Lyman. Lyman goes inside and Wasco was all by herself. Kaylee Wasco had a huge game the first time these two teams met. Lots of block shots. Uh, Lots of redirected shots, rebounds, and uh, really scored both inside and short distance uh, around the key. Midland High working the ball to Sadie DeWilt. Now works it over to Skyler Howard. Howard, three-pointer. Skyler Howard all by herself, and she hits a big three-point shot. I don't How think Howard knew she was at the three-point line. Yeah. That surprised her. Howard's not known for three-point shooting, but she made one there, and Jaden Williams coming up with the steal for the Midland High Kimmich. Williams, open lane, coast to coast, count the bucket. If you give Williams a lane like that, she's going to drive it. That was a great change of direction. Her mind was going to the corner, and everything opened up. Three-pointer by Lehman is off the mark, and Midland High will come back the other direction. Kimmicks looking to use the speed going underneath. Howard open, can't get the bucket to go. Williams will get the rebound. Jump shot by Midland High. Counted for Sadie D. Wells, the sophomore with the bucket. Kyle Tyson wants a timeout. The Kimmicks feeling good with 4.44 to go here in the first quarter. I don't think Kyle's uh, really too happy with Midland's ability for second and third shots. That uh, if that's going to happen, Midland High can o only needs to shoot 33% and they're going to beat Dow by a bundle. Kyle Tyson in his first year as the varsity coach at Dow High. He was the junior varsity coach in previous years for the Chargers. And Dow High coming into this game, all kinds of momentum. Dow High riding a 11 game winning streak. And uh, not a lot of games have been that close too. They've uh, really handled a lot of their opponents and they've done it with spreading the points around. Both of these teams coming off huge wins. This past Tuesday, Dow High defeated Bay City Central and Midland coming off a win against Saginaw. Neither of those games close. Dow High at the top of the key, Jenna Query working over to Asia Blanton. Blanton, couple of dribbles, goes back out to Ellie Taylor. 
the sophomore over to Lyman. Lyman working to Wasco from the elbow. The shot is no good, goes out of bounds, and the Chargers will have the basketball. Kyle Tyson says the ball was tipped, and now the officials are going to get together, and they are going to, uh, they're going to say that it was tipped out of bounds. Great job of officiating. Get together, get the call right. Yep, the official that saw it the best made the call. From the baseline, the shot by Taylor is no good. Kimmich with the rebound. Midland High, Sadie D. Wilt fires it out. Jaden Williams, three-pointer count. Jaden Williams starting the game on fire. The Midland High Kimmich building a 12-5 lead halfway through the first quarter. Jaden shot looks really good tonight. Sometimes you take a look at a player and you just know they, they're they feeling it. They're feeling good, they're feeling in a rhythm, and Jaden looking that way right now. Well, you feel so good about the release, too. Very positive. This is a very young Midland High team. Only one senior on the Midland High team. Everybody else underclassmen. Dow High unable to get the drive to the basket. Midland comes back the other way. Williams working over to Van Sumeren. Now Sadie D. Welt will set things up for Midland. D. Welt finds Williams open on the elbow. Shot is no good. Rebound by the Chargers. Ellie Taylor comes away with the board. Taylor across midcourt for Dow High. Taylor's got three rebounds already in the contest. And we're going to have an offensive foul called against Taylor. Did it look like she was clearing the way with her... Uh her arm, I, I couldn't tell, I was kind of blocked, but the officials saw it right that, away. That's gonna be what the officials said. Dow High bringing Alexis Lamino into the game, and also Nadia Anton will check in for the Chargers. Jaden Williams, open lane, nice dish pass, and a oh, little, uh, it looked like, uh, Looked like uh, Wasco had all ball. Maybe somebody else get her. Maybe she got her with the body. I'm not sure. I don't know. That, that looked like all ball up here. We're starting to see four on four down here because we got Lyman and Van Sumeren over in the corner. Lyman's back is to completely to the basket, making sure Van Sumeren doesn't catch the ball. Skyler so basically has four on four. Skyler Howard on the free throw line. She's a six foot player for Midland High. Last year she played for Gladwin. This year she's a Kimmich. She had a double-double last time these two teams met. She played a wonderful game in a losing effort. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Midland High leading 14 to five over the Dow High Chargers. Dow High's Emily Lyman working to Ellie Taylor. Taylor drives in, dishes over to Flamino. Flaminio into the paint and she's blocked and a foul is going to be called. Natty Berry is going to pick up the foul. Again, that looks that looked like a lot of ball. I, I thought they got the ball going up, but uh, both both ends I thought we had some good defense that ended up being whistled. Well, players just have to learn to know what uh, the officials are going to call. You got to re react to that. Alexi Flamino on the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. She's a player that can play the guard position or the forward position. Comes off the bench and sees a lot of time for the Chargers. Midland High is going to bring Abby Frasher into the game for the Chemex because Maddie Berry has already picked up two fouls for the Midland High Chemex. And Frazier scored a dozen points the other night. So uh, she came off the bench uh, really guns a-blazing. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Frazier working out over to Williams and stolen away, coming up with a steal of Flaminio, and then she ends up being fouled almost immediately. Yeah, Williams wasn't quite set. Third foul against Midland. The first one against Williams is a player that sometimes gets into foul trouble. Seven point lead for Midland High. Chargers with the basketball. Taylor trying to find some place to go. Find somebody wide open underneath. It's Emily Lyman. The senior was all by herself and Lyman able to lay it off the glass. Boy, somebody missed an assignment defensively on that. Three point shot. 
No good. Battle for the rebound. Williams will come away with it. Tries to go inside. Battle for the ball. Everybody fighting for it. Howard fighting two different chargers to try to hold on to the ball. And Dow High will come away with it. Lyman now working over to Taylor. Howard did have Van Sumeren on the wing, and she was unguarded at that particular time, but gets real busy when you got the ball underneath the basket. Lyman working to Wasco. Shot from the baseline is no good. Jaden Williams will get the rebound for Midland. Ahead to Frazier, who finds Sadie DeWilt open for the three. Shot is no good. Battle for the rebound. Kimmicks come away with it. Frazier on the baseline, no good. Battle for the rebound. This time it goes to the Charger. Couple of scoring chances for Midland, unable to come away with any points. Dow High works inside to Athen. Athen has the ball knocked away. We're gonna have a reach-in foul called. It's gonna go against the Kimmich. Sadie D. Wilt will pick up the foul. Jenna Query checks back into the game for the Chargers. A minute to go here in the first quarter. Midland High 14, Dow High 9. This is an important possession for, for Dow. I mean, they, they'd like to, you know, cut this lead down to maybe three. Wide open underneath Jenna Query using her size to block out the Kimmicks and Query lays it off the glass. Long three-pointer by Midland. Hits the front of the rim. Battle for the rebound. Won by the Kimmicks. Williams put back. Does not get the friendly roll out of bounds. Charger basketball. I did not see who got the uh, rebound on the first missed shot for Midland, but whoever it was did a great job blocking out. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure either. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Three-point lead for Midland High. Chargers with a chance to potentially tie it or pull within one. They pull within one with the shot taken by Nadia Atten. The sophomore able to get the bucket to fall through. Nadia goes about 5'11", and uh, she jumps real well. There's a turnover. Chargers have a chance to end the first quarter with the lead. Driving into the basket is Ellie Taylor. Can't get the layup to go. Put back is no good by Atten. And we end the first quarter with the Midland High Chemex leading by one, 14 to 13. Midland High had opened up a 12 to five lead, but the Chargers chipped away, and now it's a one point battle. Yeah, and I think that Midland High uh, really started to rush some of their shots. They, I think that uh, they really want to get Van Sumeren comfortable on the side and Van Sumer's just not getting any time set her feet and her shots rushed. Uh, DeWilt's shot has been rushed. So what was a comfortable lead a little while ago has really started to really uh, dissolve into just a one point advantage for Midland High. High school basketball here on MPS TV. If you're just tuning in and want to watch this game in its entirety, uh, Saturday, February 14th, Sunday, February 15th, Showtime's at 8 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock at night. Your chance to check out the action of high school basketball here on MPS TV. Couple of notes uh, in the first quarter, Midland High, Jaden Williams, seven points and four rebounds in the first quarter. Midland High, 11 rebounds total compared to Dow High's four rebounds for the Chemics controlling the boards. Dow High spreading out the scoring, 13 points from six different players. And of those 11 rebounds, a bunch of them were offensive. From the elbow, and a friendly bounce for Dow High's Nadia Essen coming off the bench. She's got a couple of buckets here in the first half, and the Chargers are in the lead 15 to 14. And coming up with a steal, nearly coming up with a steal. Ball goes out of bounds, Midland basketball. Good defense by Asia Blanton, who is back in the game for the Chargers. Well, this is an interesting defense. They've got Nadia. Uh, Adden at the top of the key, and they've got Lyman underneath the basket. Uh, most teams would reverse that. Three-point shot, count it. From the corner, Midland High's Maddie Berry. She is just a freshman, and Berry able to hit the three-pointer to give the lead back to Midland. Two-point Kimmick lead, 17-15 to 15 with a minute played here in the second quarter, and a jump ball is going to be called as Berry wrestles that ball away from Blanton, but both 
of the lady who's had possession of the ball long enough for the arrow to change directions. And Barry being a freshman, I mean, she's 5'10", uh, five, five, but uh, has got guard skills, forward skills, and uh, nice pure shot. Midland High on the far side, working the ball to Van Sumer, and now to Jaden Williams, goes on the baseline, gives it to Howard. Howard inside the paint, can't get the bucket to go. Rebound pulled down by Atten, and ahead to Ellie Taylor. Taylor, good hesitation, can't get the layup. Query with a pullback, now she outlets it back to Taylor, and Taylor with the fadeaway shot, and back and forth we go. All tied up now, 17 all. That was an unselfish pass by Query. A lot of players would have tried to muscle that up, but saw Taylor over on the side for a much better shot. Three-pointer by Van Sumeren. Shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Williams. Working back out to Barry, who goes on the baseline. Now back out Howard Williams. Now it ends up in the hands of Van Sumeren. A lot of chemics around the basketball. Three and four long, three pointer, Skyler Howard getting the bucket. She shot very, very well. And uh, we've got Skyler that's gotten most of her points uh, throughout the season from the free throw line in, and she's really extending her shot selection. Nice drive by Ellie Taylor, and she's gonna get the bucket and a chance for a three point play. Okay, and Taylor is a player that uh, Dow really needs to have stay in the game. She's a good outside shooter, uh, good at the free throw line, and her proud dad, I saw him a little bit earlier tonight. Proud dad was over about half court in the first row. Who was uh, a former coach at Northwood University. Taylor missing the free throw, but the Chargers able to get the rebound back in. Taylor with a three-pointer. Ellie Taylor having a strong game, which is usual for Taylor. Dow High with a two-point lead, five and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Skyler Howard loses the dribble. Dow High on the fast break. Taylor switching direction, gets the layup to fall through. Ellie Taylor's got good ball control. Well, she made that crossover dribble and almost ran out of room, but had a nice little hook that kissed it on the glass. Taylor's in double digits. She's got 12 points on the contest. Three-pointer no good for Midland. How about trying another three-pointer? That one is good. Sadie D. Wilt. she's just a sophomore. D. Wilt hits the three-pointer from the top of the key for the Kimmicks. On the court right now, uh, there are four sophomores and one freshman for Midland High. Asia Blanton working the ball for the Chargers. She decides to put up the shot. She had, she had a player in front of her, but Blanton able to get a good looking shot off and it goes through the net. She had one foot outside the, the three point line and one inside. So uh, she's got to learn uh, how to set her feet a little bit to give her that extra point. Jaden Williams, baseline, goes high off the glass with the bucket. Nice play by Jaden. One point, Charger lead, four minutes to go, and open underneath the basket, using the size to her advantage, Kaylee Wasco, able to get by her defender, and Wasco making it look easy. Now, Wasco has been on the bench for a while. You're not quite sure uh, for, I don't think she was in foul trouble. Van Sumeren, three-pointer. Another sophomore on this Midland High team. Alex Van Sumeren has tied this game up. 28 to 28, 335 to go in the second quarter. Van Sumeren is a great shooter and a really an outstanding shooter when she's uh, into her shooting groove. Wasco drives in, can't get the shot to go, loses the ball, it'll be Midland High basketball. Well, 28-28, we haven't proved anything so far. <laughs> Just like we started, all, all tied up in this pivotal matchup in the Saginaw Valley North. If the Chargers win tonight, they are in first place all by themselves. If the Kimmicks win, then th that creates a three-way tie in the Saginaw Valley North. Jaden Williams is blocked by Wasco. Wasco showing that strength, uh, that size to her advantage. Long two-pointer by Lyman Kaunick. Her foot was on the line, so Emily Lyman 
with a two-pointer. Lyman is one of those players sometimes overlooked, but she can hit a basket when she needs to. Yeah, but right now, Dow is really using her as a defensive specialist, just trying to keep Van Sumeren from getting much of a shooting opportunity. There's a three-pointer, count it. Sadie D. Welch hits another three-pointer. That's her second one of the night. Seven points so far for D. Welch. Kimmich in the lead by one, 2.20 to go here in the first half. Dow High working the ball to Kaylee Wasco. Over to Ellie Taylor. Taylor goes inside to Query, and Query will go to the free throw line. I think Barry got her on the arm. It'll be the sixth team foul against the Midland High Kimmicks, and that is going to be the third foul on Maddie Barry. So the first Kimmick to find herself into foul trouble. Meanwhile, on the free throw line, Jenna Query able to get the free throw to fall through. Query, one of the senior leaders, very smart on the basketball court. Very unselfish, too. She misses the second free throw. All tied up, 31 to 31. Two minutes to go here in the second quarter. On the far side, Sadie D. Weld works the ball to Van Sumer and three-pointer top of the key. Shot is no good. Battle for the rebound. Kimmicks will keep it down on this end. Van Sumeren working over to Sadie D. Wilt. Again, Midland gets another try on her offensive possession. Now Midland High has controlled the rebounding here in the first half. D. Wilt working over to the corner. Frazier works it to Jaden Williams. Williams at the free throw line. 90 seconds to go in the half, and Jaden Williams with a nice fadeaway shot. Williams has had a pretty nice first half. She's in double digits with 11. She's played very well, very well. Midland High up by two. Ellie Taylor working the ball for the Chargers. Taylor driving into the paint, working over to Emily Lyman. Lyman now to Asia Blanton. Blanton doing a nice job keeping her dribble alive. Blanton split apart the Kimmick defense, could not get the bucket to fall through. And a rebound for Williams. Numbers advantage, three-pointer by Frazier, no good. Blanton will get the rebound. Nice hustle by Blanton to get back down into position and get the board. Three-pointer, no good by Taylor. Williams with the rebound, 35 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Williams might have a double-double here in the first half. She's got 11 points and probably about six or seven rebounds. Skyler Howard, three-pointer, count it. That's her second three-pointer. Skyler Howard with uh, on fire, her third three-pointer. Yeah. Wow. A new part of her game nobody knew about. Skyler Howard, nine points from the three-point three, three point line. Final seconds of the second quarter. Blanton can't get three. Now Taylor will drive to the basket, and we're going to have a travel called on Taylor. Yeah, I, I, I think the scouting report on Skyler Howard has just gotten a little thicker. Oh, she's uh, in double digits, 11 points total. First quarter coming to an end in the Midland High Kimmicks with a five-point lead over the Dow High Chargers in a game that has been fun to watch so far. Yeah, and really a lot of what's uh, been successful for Midland High is that uh, they, they've been able to get two or three different uh, shots on w one possession. And for Dow High, not nearly as, as crafty on the offensive glass. Wasco's not played a lot in this first half. Why, I do not know, but uh, she sat for a good portion of it. She's not in foul trouble, but uh, who, who knows? She, you know, she may be just uh, saving a little bit of energy uh, for the second half. Now the Midland High Chemex building a lead led by uh, Skyler Howard and her three-point shots. Jaden Williams also playing well in the first half for the Midland High Chemex. We're going to take a quick timeout. This game, of course, po made possible by the volunteers here at MCTV and the great MCTV staff. If you want to become an MCTV volunteer, the one and only Billy is going to tell you how you can become a volunteer in just a couple of moments. At halftime, it is 
is the Midland High Chemex 36, the Dow High Chargers 31. We're back right after this. Want to get in the game? Join MCTV as an excess TV producer and produce programs like baseball, basketball, football, and, and more. more. Call MCTV at 837-3474 to get started. Get in the game and let's produce a program. And we welcome you back to Dow High, getting ready for the second half of high school basketball here on MPS TV on Charter Communications, as well as AT&T University Midland High Chemex leading by five as we get ready for the third quarter of this basketball contest. Jason Harper and Tom Bell with you for the call of the action. And Tom, your thoughts on the first half. Well, I think that uh, Middle and High continues to uh, want to shoot that, that deep shot, and they've been reasonably successful. This has been kind of the way that they've been su seen success during the last maybe half dozen games. I, this particular style left them when they played Dow the first time. I, I think the most surprising thing in the first half, the fact that Skyler Howard has uh, been on fire from the three-point line with uh, three three-pointers. Now, the first time she made one, she was the most shocked of anybody on the court. She thought, my God, are my feet that far away? But now she's getting used to it. Oh, now she's like, hey, there, there's nothing to this. Everybody can make a three-pointer. <laughs> and she's been uh, doing that so far here in the first half. For the Dow High Chargers, this is a Charger team that has yet to find a rhythm. They're riding an 11-game winning streak. But here tonight, they, they don't look to be in rhythm that we've seen them in the past. Well, and you would expect them to be in rhythm with an 11-game winning streak. And they're playing at home. And uh, they're kind of, uh, you know, they, they can set their own de destiny here. If they win, the Saginaw Valley North Division is basically theirs. Uh, it's theirs to lose, actually, you know, that they're going to be playing some teams that do not have nearly the talent that they do the rest of the way. Well, the Midland High Chemics, eight three-pointers in the first half. Every starter has hit at least one three-pointer. Skyler Howard, 11 points in the first half. Jaden Williams, 11 points, along with seven rebounds for the Dow High Chargers. Ellie Taylor, 12 points and three rebounds for Taylor. Seven different Chargers have scored, but the big uh, thing to keep an eye on, the rebounding, Midland High out rebounding Dow 18 to eight in the first half. And that's huge, it really is, because so many of those are offensive rebounds. Third quarter underway with the Chargers working the basketball. Asia Blanton drives in. Nice move by Blanton. Can't get the shot to fall through. Midland getting a rebound. And Sadie D. Wilt goes down for the Kimmick. Jaden Williams from the corner. Count it. Midland High started the game in similar fashion. And the third quarter starts the same way with Jaden Williams hitting a quick shot. I like the way Sadie kind of penetrated down the lane until uh, an avenue opened up for a pass to Williams, and Williams knocked it down. Williams is having an awfully good game tonight. Blanton, three-pointer off the mark. Williams is there to catch the ball for the Kimmich. Ahead, and the bucket and the foul. Midland High's Alex Van Sumeran will have a chance for a three-point play and a nice fast break for the Kimmich. I think Lyman was looking for Van Sumeren on the, uh, the perimeter, and Van Sumeren went straight to the basket and uh, was able to just put that little touch of a shot up on the glass and then got uh, fouled going underneath the basket. Van Sumeren known for her outside shooting, but she did a nice job getting underneath that time. And Van Sumeren completing the three-point play. Van Sumeren had a huge game for Midland last week when they played Saginaw Heritage. Van Sumeren had 18 points to lead Midland to a victory over Heritage. She only made six shots, though. <laughs> Three-point shot taken by Dow High's Emily Lyman is no good. Kimmick working the ball to the top of the key. And now Sadie DeWilt will pull out and look to set things up for the Kimmicks. 
He will. Couple of dribbles. Jaden Williams from the elbow. Shot is short. Rebound. Pulled down by Howard, and Howard will be fouled. She will go to the free throw line. Wasco, I think, coming in from behind. Now, both of these teams do not play Saginaw Heritage anymore, and we've got a timeout called by Kyle Tyson. Unhappy with what uh, he has seen because the Midland High Kimmicks have built a 10-point lead, biggest lead of the game, with 6.38 to go here in the third quarter. Both of these teams uh, split with Saginaw Heritage in the regular season, and uh, Dow High winning the first meeting, and now the battle here between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. If Dow High wins tonight, they've got first place all by themselves. But if Midland High emerges victorious and they're leading by 10 right now, if the Kimmicks win, then it will be a three-way tie for the Saginaw Valley North. And that was a assuming that everybody wins out the rest of the regular season. And on paper, that's the way that people would think it's going to occur. But you still play the games. That was a great timeout. As a, this time of year, you know the pulse of your team, and when you know they're flat, you pull them off and talk to them. And Dow uh, started off this uh, the second half uh, a little on the flat side. Skyler Howard missing the free throws, but Jaden Williams getting another board. Three-point shot taken by DeWilt is no good. Battle for the rebound. Skyler Howard and Kylie Wasco is all battling, and a jump ball will be called. Possession in favor of Midland. Williams got a double-double yet? If not, she's awful close. She needs, it's going to be close. She needs one more rebound. Six and a half to go here in the third quarter. Williams inbounds as the Dow High Chargers trying to play that prevented defense. Williams with the ball, works inside to Howard. Howard up and over Wasco, can't get the shot to go. There's the rebound by Williams and the ball goes out of bounds, last touched and Midland High will hold on to the basketball. Now she's got the double-double. Okay. I wasn't sure why there wasn't a foul called on that shot by Williams. I thought she got kind of uh, uh, hammered from behind. I, I can't think of anything <laughs> nicer to say than that. Nadia Atten checks into the game for the Chargers. Are you saying that hammered is not a nice thing to say? Th well, you know, you, you want to be nudged or something, but that's not what happened. Three-point shot, Skyler Howard, no good. Rebound by Maddie Berry, that's no good. Looking to go up with a shot a second time was DeWilt. Ball being wrestled around, everybody fighting for it, and a jump ball finally called. I wondered how long they were going to let the, uh, the girls wrestle until they called the jump ball. Don't blow well, the whistle until there's blood in the Saginaw Valley. And I think the uh, Midland got a few more rebounds in there, too. 5.45 to go here in the third quarter. Midland leading by 10. Dangerous part of the game for the Dow High Chargers who need to come up with some baskets and some shots, and the Chargers need to come up with some rebounds. Ellie Taylor thought about the three-pointer. Taylor on the far side, works it to Alexi Flamino. Flamino goes inside to Atten. Atten shot off the mark, out of bounds. Midland basketball, and those are not the possessions you want when you're down by 10. I think she might have been expecting a little more physicality on that shot and never came. Midland's defense is really energized right now, and Dow just isn't matching that, that energy to try to get players open. Barry working the ball to Sadie DeWilt. DeWilt, couple of dribbles, now long jump shot by DeWilt, and another Midland High rebound, this one pulled down by Skyler Howard. Midland's just beating Dow to those rebounds. Just complete control of the boards for the Midland High gimmicks. Skyler ran to that, and the Dow uh, inside players walked to it. DeWilt goes inside to Howard. Howard, double team, no place to go, so she dribbles out. This is a great possession for the Midland High Kimmicks. Four and a half minutes to go here in the third. Can they get some points out of it? The Wilt shot is no good. Kylie Roscoe will get the rebound for the Chargers. Across midcourt, Ellie Taylor into the paint, forces up a shot, no good. Jaden Williams with the rebound. Great box out. J Jaden had Wasco uh, directly behind him. Midland High. 
controlling the scoreboard, the rebounds, and the momentum at this junction of the contest. Van Sumeren works out over to Sadie D. Welt. Chemex will set up their offense. D. Welt, couple of dribbles on the baseline, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound by Flaminio for the Dow Chargers. Working ahead to Taylor. Taylor, cross court pass. Lyman works it back to Wasco. Wasco goes over to Taylor. Long three pointer off the mark. Rebound by Lyman. Goes inside to Taylor, and Taylor will get the bucket and the foul. Ellie Taylor will have a chance for a three point play, and I think Jaden Williams is going to be called for that foul. And Elaine Mahabir is going to call a timeout before Taylor will shoot the free throws. 3.29 to go here in the third quarter. 41 to 33 in favor of the Midland High Chemex. High school basketball on MBS TV. Glad you could be with us. And uh, as the coaches give directive to their players, we want to let you know how you can be a star. The friends of MCTV will be hosting the fifth annual Midland Shining Stars Talent Show coming up on Saturday, April 11th. MCTV will tape your performance in the studio and then the program will play for about two or three months. Viewers will be able to vote for their favorite talent online. Prove that you have what it takes to be the next big thing. For more information, call MCTV at 837-3474 or email midlandstars at yahoo.com. Ellie Taylor, one free throw for the Dow High Chargers. And Ellie, in the last about two or three minutes of this game, is the only Dow player that looks really comfortable on offense. And they keep looking to Ellie to try to bail him out. She's a team leader, just a sophomore. Taylor had 15 points against Bay City Central this past Tuesday. Van Sumeren working to Howard, over to Williams. Williams, couple of dribbles, tries to go into the paint, lost the dribble, but Howard is there to come up with it. Now DeWilt goes into the paint. Her shot may have been partially blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Dow High basketball, that may have been uh, Taylor that got a, a little bit of the ball. I think it was a change of thought. Said she went in and wanted to do something else with the ball, and it just got out of her hands. Three-point attempt, bank it, it still counts. The bank is open. Asia Blanton, she's a sophomore, played for Carmen Ainsworth last year, back as a charger this year, and Blanton hitting the three-pointer to try to pull Dow High closer. Jaden Williams looking to answer that three-pointer is no good. Battle for the rebound, and Jenna Query will come away with it, and then Query ends up being taken down by Midland High's uh, Van Sumeren. Yeah, if you're going to foul somebody, make sure they feel it. Now, in wrestling, it's two points for a takedown? I believe so. Okay. 41 to 37. Midland High with the lead. 2.20 to go in the third quarter. Blanton with the ball. Blanton with a three pointer. Count it. Asia Blanton. Somebody needs to step up for the Chargers. Asia says, I'll step up. Back-to-back -back three pointers for Blanton, and we've got a one-point game. Elaine Mahabir wants another timeout. The Chemex led by 10 at one point. Now they lead by one. And with Blanton, uh, she's got a lot of experience playing at uh, uh, Flint Carmen Ainsworth a year ago. And uh, we, Midland just left her wide open. It's very uncharacteristic of how Midland has played up to now. And all of a sudden, Blanton gets the, all that time to set her feet. She had a chance to think about a couple of different options. I thought, well, let's see what happens. 2.06 to go here in the third quarter. But Dow desperately needed another scoring option. And Blanton providing that. Blanton's a player that can shoot the three-pointer, play strong inside. As well, Midland High with the basketball after the timeout. Sadie D. Welt working with a couple of dribbles. 
Now a three-pointer by Van Sumeren. Shot too hard, rebound, Asia Blanton gets the rebound. Blanton across midcourt, Blanton looking to go coast to coast, and she walked. Picked up that dribble a little bit too early. Allowed in the NBA, because you can stop dribbling at midcourt in the NBA. <laughs> you have to make it about three steps past that for college, but in high school, you, they still enforce yeah, traveling. You have to take a moment to pose for the poster company. Yeah. Williams working the ball, pass nearly stolen by Taylor. Midland High able to recover. Three-pointer by Howard or by uh, Barry is no good, and the battle for the rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Charger basketball. Both of these teams very young. We mentioned earlier that the Midland High Chemics with only one senior, but the Dow High Chargers only four seniors on the team. Well, and for Dow, two of them play a lot, which is a big help for Dow uh, as far as experience is concerned. Query and Lyman. Inside was Nadia Atten. Good shot, no bucket. Midland High coming back the other direction. Jaden Williams with the ball. Over to Maddie Berry. Berry, couple of dribbles, goes inside to Williams. Now back out to Van Sumer. Van Sumeren takes the screen, can't get the shot to go, and Dow High comes back the other direction. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Blanton, three-pointer counter. Asia Blanton is on fire for the Chargers, and Dow High taking the lead. They were once down by 10. It looked like they were close to dead, actually. Midland High defensively was on top of their game. And Dow is struggling with their offense. And Blanton has given them a spark. 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Van Sumeren, three-pointer. No good. Rebound. Controlled by Howard briefly on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. Sadie DeWilt from the elbow. That shot is no good. And the third quarter comes to an end with the Dow High Chargers on top. 43-41. to 41. Dow finished that quarter, what, with 12 straight points? Uh, we'll check to find was out. Was it 41-31? Yes. Our stat man, Jeff Yoder, says, yes, that is exactly correct. What a run by the Dow High Chargers overcoming a double-digit deficit and taking the lead. There you see it, 43-41 to 41 in favor of the Dow High Chargers. So we mentioned how crucial this game is between these two teams and uh, the districts are just around the corner the districts coming up in a couple of weeks they begin on monday march 2nd and the districts will be right here at dow high school and the districts beginning the midland high chemics will be taking on bay city central on the opening monday night the dow high chargers will play mount pleasant on the opening night of the districts. Midland has saginaw heritage if they get by bay city central and the midland Kimmix and the Dow Chargers would not meet until the district final if both teams pick up a couple of wins early on in the district. But they all start March 2nd right here at Dow High. And that one is going to be just as exciting as this one. So here we go. Fourth quarter underway. A couple of notes to uh, about that third quarter. Midland High only scored two baskets in that entire third quarter. Jaden Williams currently with a double-double, 13 points, 12 rebounds so far for Williams. Dow High's Asia Blanton, three three-pointers in the third quarter. She's got 11 points total, and Skyler Howard will go to the free throw line for Midland. Ellie Taylor leading all scores in the game so far. Taylor's got 15 points. But Blanton cert certainly gave Dow a shot in the arm at that point. Uh, they needed something, and uh, she was ready to deliver. Howard on the free throw line. Misses the first free throw. Misses the second one. Skyler Howard was on fire in the first half. Much like a lot of the chemics, she has gone cold here in the second half. Yeah, they've lost that edge now. When Midland, uh, Dow called a timeout when it was 41-31, and since that timeout, Dow's been different. 
Asia Blanton has got the hot hand, but that three-pointer is no good. Rebound pulled down by the Chargers. Ellie Taylor can't get the shot to go. Battle for the boards. Taylor will come away with it. Three-pointer counted. The momentum is swinging big time to the Chargers. Ellie Taylor, 18 points on the game for Taylor. Chargers leading 46 to 41. Jaden Williams, three-pointer off the mark. Midland High out-rebounded down, not here in the fourth quarter. Taylor, the bucket and the foul. Ellie Taylor with a chance for a three-point play. And Elaine Mahabir may want to think about calling another timeout, and she does. Wow, that was a difficult shot. Taylor being right-handed, went way to the left and put, and put the ball, extended her arm out, and just gave it a little flip. I'm sure she's well, practiced it hundreds of times, well, but so great touch. Mom or dad, who, who, taught, who taught Ellie to uh, shoot that way? Uh, boy, I don't know. I, I just think that it's all the extra basketball that she has played in all the tournaments uh, since she's been a little tight. That she may have developed that shot by herself because that's not really a high percentage shot, but boy, it comes in handy once in a while. The Dow High Chargers, as you look at Elaine Mahabia, are trying to motivate the Kimmicks to turn things around. How about this, Tom? The Chargers are on a 17-0 run. Yeah, and they're on their home court, and they've got uh, a majority of the fans uh, right now. At least it sounds that way. Uh, Midland's got to get, get rolling again, and uh, they've got to work the ball into Williams, uh, Howard, and then uh, DeWilt uh, needs to find some open spots. Allie Taylor looking to uh, complete the three-point play. Both teams with three personal fouls. Neither team really in foul trouble. And of course, if Van Sumeren can get loose, uh, hit a couple of threes, that's gonna help too. But. Now Taylor completes the three-point play. It is a 49-41 lead. Eight-point advantage for the Chargers. Six and a half minutes to go in this pivotal Saginaw Valley North battle. Jaden Williams will be fouled. Williams hit hard underneath. Kaylee Wasco picking up the foul, and that is four on Wasco. So Kaylee becomes the first player to be in foul trouble. Now Midland just needs to drive right at Wasco. Jaden Williams on the free throw line gets the first one to fall through. Williams had 13 points against Saginaw. She's just a player of you know, guts and determination, somebody you love to have on your team, and she misses the second free throw. She's got so much ability. Query underneath, can't get the shot to go. Battle for the rebound, Query comes away with it. Now the ball's on the ground, and Maddie Berry will come away with it for Midland. Williams, bounce pass over into the corner. Double teaming, working back out to DeWilt. DeWilt going into the paint for the Kimmicks. Nice feed pass over to Abby Frazier, and the junior comes off the bench and hits a baseline shot. We're, we've got ourselves a five-point game. And how did DeWilt know Frazier was there? I mean, they had lots of taller players in the way, but uh, she just knew it. Blanton, jump shot, no good. Ball comes right back to her. Three-pointer by Taylor. Shot is no good. Williams will get the rebound. Across the midcourt works the Midland High Kimmicks. Barry over to Howard. Howard finds Williams. Williams gets fouled hard. Jenna Query tried to get her positioning but could not quite get there in time. Couldn't slide over and... Jaden Williams and Jenna Query colliding hard. It will end up sending Williams to the free throw line. And for Jaden, it only hurts for about a second or two, and she's a tough customer. Bruises heel. In time. <laughs> the foul was on the floor, so the Kimmicks will end up taking the ball out of bounds. Williams looking to inbound, finally finds Frazier. Frazier over to Howard. Howard thought about the shot, decides against it. Now Sadie D. Welt 
working at the top of the key. Kimmich look to set things up. Frazier, couple of dribbles, switching hands. Howard goes back over to Williams. Now Barry in the corner for Midland. Back to Sadie D. Weld. We've got five minutes to go. A lot of basketball left to be played in this Saginaw Valley North battle. Jump shot by Frazier is no good. Rebound pulled down by Emily Lyman. Lyman looking to go coast to coast, and a foul is going to be called by Barry. Barry was riding Lyman, trying to come up with a steal, and so making a little bit too much contact, and that is going to be the fourth foul on Barry. And Barry was shadowing Lyman all the way down the court, and uh, as a freshman, uh, you know, she's not thinking about every single opportunity, but she really needs to get out ahead of her at that point and then stop her, her advance. Working from just outside the free throw line, the shot taken by Atten is no good. Midland High comes back the other direction. Sadie D. Welt into the paint, friendly roll, no. Bounces out, battle for the rebound. Jaden Williams stealing it away, and then we're gonna have a foul called on Dow High's Nadia Atten, who gets a little bit frustrated. They're letting them play, no doubt about that, because I thought a jump ball should have been called. Instead, Jaden Williams, a way to wrestle that ball freely, and then a frustration foul committed by Atten. Sometimes when you have a jump ball, the quicker you can get it out of the hands, maybe the official will uh, swallow the whistle. They, they let that, that go for a while. Inbound pass, Skyler Howard, long two-pointer, no good. Dow High comes away with the board. A very physical game, and Frazier coming up with the steal. Frazier leading Midland High back the other direction. Now they'll slow down. DeWilt working over the corner. Van Sumeren, three-pointer, no good. Frazier with the rebound. Four minutes to go in the contest. Dow High leading by five. Williams, three-pointer, no good. Van Sumeren with the rebound, body flying, and we're gonna have a foul, I believe it's gonna be called on Lyman. It will be a one and one situation for the Midland High Chemics, and how about how physical this game is? As the game gets closer to the end, they know how much is riding on this game, that they've played all season, and they've got themselves in a position, uh, Dow has a position to really be in the driver's seat, and Midland, this is their, their goal. This is, was their goal when they were playing Heritage the other night. Beat Heritage, then beat Dow. Van Sumeren on the free throw, does not get it to fall through. We had all that kinds of one. movement. The question is who moved first? Was it Dow, was it Midland? And they're gonna say that Dow moved first. I think uh, it was. Alexi yeah. Flamino trying to say that uh, Williams uh, grabbed a hold of her to, Kind of or help, was but, that query? But uh, nonetheless, okay. it was Dow that jumped first, according to the officials. And Midland High will take advantage yeah. of it. Van Sumeren hits the free throw. One more shot coming up for Van Sumeren. Sophomore coming off a 18-point game against Saginaw Heritage. And she hits... Both of the free throws. We got ourselves a ball game. It is a three-point contest with 3.40 to go. Dow High working across midcourt, and we've got a whistle away from the ball. That's going to be, uh, I guess, Midland High. Abby Frazier is going to pick up the foul. Well, we're seeing Dow with a little bit different setup on offense. They've kind of got some uh, different stacks. They're small piles of players there at the free throw line extended. Working the baseline is Taylor. Now she works it back out to Wasco, and we've got a timeout called. Kyle Tyson is going to call a timeout with 3.25 to go 
here in the fourth quarter, and we will uh, set the scene of what is happening here at Dow High. 325 to play. Dow High 49, Midland High 46. The possession arrow favors the Chargers. Dow High shooting one and one. There's one foul to give for the Chargers towards the Kimmicks. The timeout, the Midland High Kimmicks with two timeouts remaining. Dow High two timeouts as well. So, Coach, what, the, what are your thoughts? What do you do with three and a half minutes? Lots of time left. Well, I think you have to continue to challenge Wasco. So I'm looking as far as Midland High is concerned. You need to challenge her. She's got to back off. She knows she's got four fouls. Uh, offensively for Dow, I think they were trying to s set up kind of a, a, a double high post on both sides and it confused Dow more than Midland and uh, I think they want to get their players in a little more traditional looking offense. Emily Lyman with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Dow was down by 10 at one point. Now they lead by three. Dow High, Alexi Flamino with the ball, works it out over to Lyman. Lyman, three-pointer count it. Emily Lyman, the senior, with a big three-pointer. And we mentioned uh, at the start of the half that Dow High Chargers needed somebody to step up. There, there was Lyman that stopped. Asia Blanton stepped up, and Kaylee Wasco just stepped up with a steal. The Dow High Chargers, those other players, as they step up, that leaves Taylor open even more. Exactly, and with Lyman being the senior, she seemed very relaxed with that and willing to step forward and make that risk of a shot. Taylor with the ball, goes inside wide open, but Query unable to get the bucket to fall through and the ball goes out of bounds. Everything but the basket. Yeah, she had a w wide open shot and chose to go up with her left hand, but uh, you know, if you've got confidence with it, you go with it. But uh, just didn't have the roll off her fingertips. Sadie D. Wilt working over to Van Sumeren. Quick three-pointer from the baseline is no good. Wasco with a foul. Kaylee Wasco was quiet in the first half, but she has got back-to-back -back rebounds for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High looking to slow down the pace. 2.10 to go in the contest. Jenna Query trying to work her way free against Williams. Now they go inside to Wasco. Spin move, no foul call. Good defense that time by Skyler Howard. Very well played by Howard. Van Sumeren over to Sadie DeWelt. Open for the three. Shot too hard. Out of bounds. Dow High basketball. And Asia Blanton will check back into the game. Maddie Berry also comes in. Berry playing with four fouls for Midland High. 1.46 to go, it's Dow High 52, Midland High 46, and a timeout called by Kyle Tyson before they could inbound the ball. Chargers will have one timeout remaining. Well, with Midland High hitting so many threes in the first half, you know, we were talking at halftime about you win and lose by the, uh, by the, uh, the, the three-point shot. How many shots has Midland hit uh, three-pointers in the second half? Have they had any? They have not. The Midland High Kimmicks have not been able to hit a three-pointer in the second half. Dow High with a halftime adjustment that uh, Kyle Tyson will be proud of at halftime. If you're just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety, be sure to tune in Saturday, February 14th, Sunday, February 15th, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night to watch this contest, the Kimmicks and the Chargers at high school basketball here on MPS TV. Also head online to midlandps.org. That's the Midland Public Schools webpage and you can check out the TV listings from the webpage. Ellie Taylor, 21 points and five rebounds for the Dow High Chargers. Well, uh, for Midland High, we're down to uh, one minute and 46 seconds. They're down by six. Dow High looking to keep their winning streak intact. They've won 11 in a row. They're looking to make it 12 and take sole possession of first place. Kyle Tyson calling a timeout. I think that's his last one. No, he's got one left. 
I don't think Kyle liked their spacing. They, they were getting caught on the sideline. They were going to be in trouble. 140 to go here in the fourth quarter. Dow High maintaining their lead 52 to 46. Each team, uh, Midland's got two timeouts. Dow High's got one timeout. Possession arrow favors the Chargers. The Dow High Chargers on a roll. They've won 11 games straight. If Dow High can keep the lead here tonight, they will be in first place all by themselves in the Saginaw Valley. The Midland High Chemex looking to, uh, to come from behind and go into a tie for first place. And you got to believe somewhere in this crowd is an informant that is keeping Heritage informed of the progress of this game. I'm sure they've got somebody watching. Dow High. Working the basketball, Millen High trying to double team. Taylor took a shot to the head, and I don't think uh, they did call the foul. Ellie Taylor took a took a strong shot. In fact, Taylor may have to be looked at. Ellie Taylor got hit square in the eye, and she's not one that's going to come out of the game. And that she, was the foul to give, and that hurt. Taylor may be seeing double, and now the official stopping the game, and this is a good call. The new MHSAA concussion protocol deems any, any time you get a shot, and the official yeah. stopping it to make sure that, it, you know, the shot wasn't to the head. It was actually to, you know, to the eye and to the face of Taylor, but a good job by the officials of uh, making sure that there are no concussion-like symptoms. Well, so much on the line here that you, you cannot sacrifice safety for anything. 1-10 on the clock. Taylor finding, oh, Query was wide open, but they worked it back around. Query now has the ball knocked away, and Jaden Williams is going to pick up the foul. It'll be a one-and-one -one situation that will send Query to the free throw line. Yeah, Midland can't allow Dow to burn off time, and Dow uh, has had such success, they've got a lot of confidence in their ability to do just that, to burn some time at the end. Query able to get the free throw to fall. This is a senior. This is what you want your senior to do. Second free throw is no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Midland High basketball. Seven point lead for the Dow High Chargers with 64 seconds to go. Midland High try to get a sub in, but not quick enough to the table. Three-pointer by the Kimmich. Shot is no good. Battle for the rebound, and we're gonna have a jump ball call. Possession arrow goes to Dow. Midland High's uh, Tara Gross, sophomore, checked into the game and had a pretty good-looking three-point shot, but could not get it to hit. And now Gross will head to the sideline as Elena Narker checks in. She's a senior for a Midland High team. Well, Come. Narker sh shoots the three very, very well. They've just got to get a number of uh, shots up with seven point deficit. Uh, the, I don't know what they're talking about. Are they? uh, the officials getting together, and now the officials are calling both coaches together. Not exactly sure what the uh, discussion is about. The clock didn't start is what we are being told. And uh, are they going to add any time to the clock? Elaine Mahabir is going to call a timeout. And they're, they're going to end up taking, they took time off or they're going to take time off? They took time off. So that is what the uh, call lives. That is why we pay Jeff Yoder the money that he is being paid here tonight to be our stat man, to keep us uh, up to date with what is going on. So. That's what it was, a problem with the clock, and so they went and they took uh, some time off the clock. 56 seconds is what it is set at, so they only took off eight seconds. So he gets paid twice what we do, huh? Exactly. Twice nothing is nothing. And a, uh, there you, there's, there's Yoder. Yeah. There's Jeff Yoder doing the stats by our side. Here we go, 56 seconds to play. Dow High with the ball after the jump ball. Midland High double teaming, and the foul is going to be called. Jenna Query will go to the free throw line. It will still be a one and one. That is the eighth team foul on the Kimmicks. 
Well, for Midland yeah. High, a number of things have got to fall together yeah. here. And one is that uh, that query does not hit both of these. And she hits the now first one. Now it's going to be really tough. We had a shot a moment ago of Sandy Harris. Why is she not working the concession stand at the uh, at the hockey rink? She, she gets nights off. That is, that is, that is, uh, she should not have time off. <laughs> From the free throw line, both of the free throws were good by Query. Midland High needs to score in a hurry. Williams with the three-pointer. Shot is no good. Rebound by the Chargers and the Kimmicks trying to go for the steal. And they do force the turnover as they force the Chargers to go out of bounds. Strong defense played. 42 seconds to go. Dow High leading by nine. Trying to drive in briefly, now pulling back for a three-pointer. The shot taken was no good by D. Will. Dow High comes away with the board. 30 seconds to play, and the Kimmicks have to foul to stop the clock. It's going to be an uphill climb now. Uh, there's just over 30 seconds to go, and down by, by nine, it could be 11 here. Emily Lyman will go to the free throw line for the Chargers. How about the comeback by Dow High? They were down by 10 at one point in this contest, and they have uh, they went on a 17-0 run. They completely swung things back into their favor, and a lane violation will, well, now they're going to call a foul on Dow High, so that will put the Kimmicks on the free throw line. But nonetheless, the Dow High Chargers completely doing a swing, overcoming a double-digit deficit, and now they lead by nine with... 31 seconds to play. Well, it's it's hard to beat a team when they go on a 17-0 run. And that's what Dow did when they were down big and Midland just couldn't answer. Jaden Williams hitting the first free throw for the Chemex. Still a lot of time and one timeout left for Midland. Williams missing the second free throw and Ellie Taylor will get the rebound and Midland High fouling DeWilt, grabbing a hold of Taylor to stop the clock. 27 seconds left to play. It's a double bonus now. The Dow High Chargers will be shooting two, and the Chargers look to be uh, on their way to sole possession of first place. Well, they certainly have worked hard to get themselves into this driving, the driving seat position, and Taylor's got a real nice touch. Ellie Taylor, 22 points, 23 points now for Taylor. 10 point lead, a 20 point swing for the Dow High Chargers. Three point attempt is no good for DeWilt. Howard trying to force the shot up, can't get it to go, and a rebound pulled down by Taylor who was then fouled immediately. 14 seconds to go, and the writing is going to be on the wall in terms of a W for the Dow High Chargers with only 14 seconds to play. You know, Dow's had a lot of contributors tonight, but right now it's the Ellie Taylor show. This last minute, she's done a lot of good stuff. And she is uh, a strong leader. Dow High bringing in a lot of uh, extra players off of the bench now to get some playing time in a Midland Dow matchup with 14 seconds to go. Kyle Tyson going to his bench so that everybody on his bench can say, hey, I played in the game against the Midland High Kimmicks. Midland High with Sadie D. Well. Now Skyler Howard, three-pointer, no good. Rebound pulled down and a foul immediately. Lauren Tomic, the junior, will end up going to the free throw line with six seconds to go. Tomic is going to get a chance to uh, get in the box score. She is a junior. I apologize if I am saying her name wrong. Tomic, Tomic, I'm not exactly sure what it is. There she goes. Whichever it is, she's in the scorebook. She's in the book. Lauren hitting the free throw for the Dow High Chargers, who have pulled away here in the fourth quarter. Second free throw is no good. Final seconds are going to go off the clock. 
and the Dow High Chargers, their win streak is now at 12 in a row. The Dow High Chargers have got full possession of first place and they have picked up victory number 14 overall in the season at victory number 12 here in a row. Dow High erasing a 10 point deficit and they end up winning this game 60 to 47. And Midland High played exceptionally well in the first half, just couldn't get it going consistently in the second half. And Dow ran off 17 consecutive points, changed the whole complexion of the game. Midland High just couldn't match them as the, as the game went on. And uh, as we got towards the end, Ellie Taylor just uh, hits a bunch of free throws and they got some free throws from Query and they started, Dow started to rebound too down here. Exactly, it was a, a tale of two halves. The first half belonging to the Chemics, the second half belonging to the Dow High Chargers. And you know, we know that uh, you know, Ellie Taylor had a terrific game for the Dow High Chargers, but how about the fact that several players stepped up? Asia Blanton stepped up and had back-to-back to back three pointers that really sparked the Dow High Chargers in their comeback. And this this is a victory that I think Kyle Tyson is going to be pleased with because the Dow High Chargers had uh, count, had players from everywhere contributing to the comeback win. And Blanton really instilled life in them when they felt like it was slipping away. Midland High was ahead 41 to 31. And uh, all of a sudden uh, Dow said, I th maybe we can do this now. Yeah. And uh, what Blanton did was huge. Yeah, Ellie Taylor coming away with 25 points in the game, and uh, Asia Blanton coming away with 11 points, including three three-pointers. On the Midland High side of things, Jaden Williams finishing with 15 points and 15 rebounds for a double-double for Williams, and Skyler Howard had 11 points, but the Kimmick shooting went cold. The Dow High Chargers able to use that to their advantage. Dow High coming from behind, and the districts will be uh, very exciting here at Dow High starting on Monday, March 2nd, and we could have ourselves a Charger Kimmick showdown in the district final, but for that to happen, both of these teams will have to pick up a couple of wins early on in the districts. We want to thank our great crew headed up by uh, Matt Richardson for MCTV, who has uh, put together a stellar volunteer crew to bring you this contest here on MPS TV. My thanks to Jeff Yoder for taking the time to be our stat man and helping us sound a whole lot better than what we really are. And of course, <laughs> always a pleasure to have Tom Bell as my broadcast partner. My name is Jason Harper. Thank you for tuning in to High School Basketball here on MPS. The final score, Dow High 60, Midland 47. Good night.